Good morning. Time to make the coffee. Well, it's a very cloudy day here today. It's been raining off and on since yesterday. Um, one of the downsides of the rain is my dogs don't want to go outside. <laughs> so I almost have to drag them out and then they just stand there and look at me like, hey, let me in, it's raining. So I don't know. <clears throat> I guess they just hold it for a long time. And th at those times, sometimes they have an accident in the house. So anyway, today's going to be 82. And with all this rain, I'm not complaining, but it's going to be uh, pretty humid, I would think, at 82. Well, yesterday I went shopping with my friend and we got in trouble again. Not really. I didn't really buy much of anything that I hadn't planned to. Of course, there's always, you know, those couple things that you pick up that you see as you're walking around the store. But not too bad. So today I have to go to my mom's and I have to take her shopping. So, but that's okay because um, I could pick up a bag of... Uh, lettuce or something. I did buy um, the Three Hearts of Romaine yesterday at Myers, but um, I may pick up a bag salad too, just for adding a different variety of vegetables. I'll get one of those salad kits again because I like to mix up my greens and then I can use up some of my cucumbers and um, mix that all together and have a nice salad. So, well, today's Saturday. It's not the best day to go shopping because it's busy. Even though a lot of people work from home and use delivery service, the stores are still busy on the weekends because some people still like to go to the store. Now, one thing I do like to pick up myself is produce because I, I'm picky about my produce. I look through a lot of bags of lettuce and everything before I finally decide on one, because I find that a lot of times with the bag salad kits, if you're not careful, even if they're not expired yet, they're starting to look a little funky. So um, I do like to pick out my own produce. But I guess in a pinch, having somebody else do it would work too. So I'm having chocolate creamer with pecan pie this morning. I have a lot of the pecan pie coffee left. It must not be my favorite. I like it, but I guess it's not my first choice. So I have a lot of that left, and I have a lot of salted caramel coffee left too. Well, I have a lot of coffee left, period, but those two flavors seem to be the most abundant. Cheers. It's good. I like it. I don't know why I don't choose it more often. Probably because there's other flavors that I like more. So I'm hoping not to be gone all day because I do have some things that I could do, but usually when I go somewhere, I, I don't do anything else. I just come home and shopping wears me out. I know it's hard to believe, but it does. Um, so that's life, I guess. So I do have a couple things that in my Walmart cart that I need to order eventually within the next few days. It's not much, it's only $40 worth, but um, I've kind of been holding off. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because it's more things coming into the house, but um, I need some more creamer and um, just necessities. So there's nothing in there that isn't something that I use. So, all right. Well, I'm going to enjoy my coffee, and 
I will meet you over there at the budget book. All right, here I am back at the budget book. So yesterday I did spend money. I went with my friend. Uh, we went to get pricing for some deck material at Menards. And then um, we also went shopping at Myers while we were out there. So uh, I got a few different things while I was at the Myers store. And um, if you want to see what I bought, watch yesterday's video. Uh, I didn't buy anything that was too off the wall. But anyway, so today I'm probably going to go take my mom shopping. Uh, I do need to pick up a couple things at Aldi's that I've finished up. Um, I like to keep yogurt on hand and um, some grapes maybe if the price is right. We'll see. And um, maybe a couple of salad kits. So, because I was totally out of greens, I have stuff in the garden, but that's mostly chard, which is also fine for greens, but I prefer that cooked. So, um, unless it's real tiny baby chard, then, you know, that's good in, in salads. But anyway. I like the chopped salad kits because you get your cabbages, you get your kales and, and, you know, just all those vegetables already chopped up and mixed up and I like to use those for salads and stir fries and it doesn't break the bank. So this morning I've been going through recipes that I had saved on my phone. Sometimes if I go to the library and get a cookbook out, um, I'll take pictures of recipes um, on my phone and then I'll print them out. Because a lot of times cookbooks, I have tons and tons of cookbooks that I've bought. But a lot of times cookbooks, there's only you know a few recipes that you're actually interested in. So making a copy of them when I go to the library helps me out a lot. I don't have an, another cookbook that I have to buy. I'm trying to cut way back on buying cookbooks because I do collect them and I have a very extensive collection of them. But this way um, I can just take the recipes I'm interested in, take a picture of it, and then uh, print it out later. So um, I went through some of the uh, pictures I had taken on the phone and printed out some of the recipes. I'm looking for recipes that I can mix and match ingredients, just have a basic recipe, and if I have eggplant, use eggplant. If I have zucchini, use zucchini. Um, but the basic recipe is the same, but you can change up the flavoring or the vegetables, you know, whatever you have in your pantry drawer and your fridge, those are the vegetables that you can use up. So those are some of the recipes I'm looking for. Also, I have a lot of tofu that I have frozen and in the refrigerator, so I looked for recipes that I could use that up in and uh, maybe also combine it with um, the uh, veggies I have. Like I can make uh, like a veggie grounds out of tofu and add that into a recipe like spaghetti sauce or a pasta recipe, whatever. Or I could use TVP instead of ground beef. Either or would work. I could make tacos out of the uh, veggie tofu grounds. Uh, those are the kind of recipes I was gathering this morning so that I can continue to use up what I have in my refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. And like I've said before, I'm not going to deplete my stash. I'll, um, if I see, you know, I use something, then I'll replace it with, a, with another one. 
So that way I can still maintain my stash to a point, but not have too much that I can't possibly use up. So anyway, that's what I'm doing um, to try and save money on food because that's about the only category where I can save money because I don't spend a lot of money on clothes anymore. Every once in a while I'll buy a casual pair of pants or a top at Costco if they have something decent, but I, I don't go clothes shopping anymore. I haven't done that in a very, very long time. I used to love to go clothes shopping. That's why I have such an extensive collection of clothes. But I have downsized those at least three times, and I'm continuing to do that as I see I'm not wearing a certain category of clothes. So anyway... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go to my mom's today and uh, see what she needs. And then I'll probably have to end up going again next week because I know she wanted to go to the bank, but it's Saturday and they close at noon. And honestly, this morning I had things that I needed to do. So uh, it can wait until next week. There's nothing that's that pressing that uh, we can't go to the bank next week. So, okay, well, anyway, those are the strategies that I'm doing to save money uh, as I'm downsizing and purging and organizing. I'm getting all the things that I still like and reusing them, um, reinventing them, putting things together that normally weren't together because one thing was stored away in a box. So I'm kind of redesigning some of my um, rooms with things I already have and also combining that with a few new things. So okay, that's it for my budget book chat for today and um, I don't know, I'll see what the day brings. For dinner tonight I'm eating that second beer brat veggie based of course. I'm eating the last of the um, brioche buns. These are Alexia rosemary seasoned fries. They're really good. And a bunch of my mixed um, pickled veggies and some store-bought olives. So there's tonight's dinner. Using up what, up what I have in the fridge and that will definitely fill me up. And I have cheese, pickled onions, homemade, pickle relish, store-bought, mustard and ketchup. And there we go. That's tonight's dinner. Well, it's the end of the day already, and I did not do a darn thing today. I was going to go to my mom's, but... Uh, I talked to her on the phone, and she said on Tuesday she wants to go somewhere. So um, I didn't want to drive twice. So um, she said, oh, we'll just go on Tuesday. So I'm going to take her. She wants one of those mobile scooters, those motorized uh, Amigo scooters. So we're going to go look at them. And we'll see. You know, she says, well, then I could, you know, scoot around the neighborhood and I think she'd be all right on there. So anyway, um, we want to do that and then, of course, do some shopping. So it, it wasn't imperative that I went today. So I ended up, I, I just stayed home and I just relaxed today. I didn't do much cooking. I just um, finished up some things I had in the fridge, both for breakfast and for dinner. So I'm whittling down my uh, food supplies somewhat, um, but, um, you know, of course the produce I have to replenish because I don't grow everything in my garden. I grow tomatoes and peppers and some greens and um, I think I have a zucchini out there that's ready to be harvested. Hopefully it's still good because it's been raining. I haven't been out there. 
but I do have some zucchini and cucumbers that I need to do something with. So I have this book. I pulled this out today, and I'm going to look through it and read a few things, and it's pres Preserving by the Pint. So because I don't have a ton of produce, I don't want a ton of produce, and I don't have uh, a lot of things to preserve, I thought I would check that out. And I was looking for, the thing I don't like about canning is you have this massive pot with hot water that you have to deal with, and you got to do all this uh, sanitizing and everything, and I'm trying to avoid that. So I was looking on Amazon, sorry, just adjusting this a little bit, I was looking on, that's not good either, I was looking on Amazon to see if I could find a small pot that I could just do pints in, but they're all big, so, but what I did learn on Amazon when I was looking that you can actually uh, steam water bath. They make water bath steamers that you can use to um, to can things. So that might not be as messy. But I don't know. I'm just exploring my options. I, I won't have a whole lot to can. But I thought, I don't like to can. That's why I freeze or dehydrate everything. But that's why my freezers are so full, because if I have onions that are going bad, I chop those up, I put them in the freezer, same with peppers. Um, if I have greens, zucchini, everything. I freeze almost everything. But it's kind of hard to make room in your freezer when you're constantly stuffing it full of other things. So uh, I've kind of resorted to making refrigerator pickles, but I thought if I could maybe water bath can some cucumbers, might make some room in the fridge too. I don't know. But anyway, that's why I want to read this book and see if there's any good ideas. Now, I didn't just get this. I've had this book for quite a while. It's by Marissa McClellan. And it's Quick Seasonal Canning for Small Spaces by the author of Food in Jars. So she has other books apparently too. So I'm going to check this out and see if there's any good ideas for me. But I'm just going to continue on with my relaxing today. It's already after 7 p.m. and usually by now my video is already up. But today it's, uh, it's late because I've been just doing nothing. All right, my friends. Well, that's all I have for you today. A short video today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. Oh, there goes another digger. <laughs> I cannot keep my dogs from digging up my stuff. What are you doing, Chloe? Chloe! What are you doing? That's a good girl. So, I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. It helps my channel grow. Don't forget to share, and thanks for watching.